Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Abla with another pain to power video. This one corresponds to the person of the week, uh, which is a blog that I write every Monday. Uh, and the person of the week for this week was Hunter Biden, which if you know my politics, uh, they tend toward the right, strongly toward the right. And yet uh, I want to acknowledge when somebody does something really surprising and inspiring and amidst all the challenges that Mr. Biden, Hunter Biden is facing, investigations, uh, the post-election uh, scrutiny that's bound to fall on him and his entire family, rightly or wrongly. Uh, the bottom line is uh, that he's coming out with a memoir called Beautiful Things in which he talks about his challenges with drugs um, and talks about what it took uh, to overcome those challenges and talks about some of the tragedies in his family that led to him being vulnerable to substance use, substance abuse. You know, doing that in the midst of all the slings and arrows uh, of fortune uh, that have befallen Hunter Biden is inspiring. I don't care where uh, he is on the political spectrum for the purposes of saying that that should be something that crosses political lines. How did we become a people, we might say, uh, in America, uh, who can't celebrate a renaissance, all right, a, a turnaround, a comeback story? The comeback story is the iconic pain to power story. It's, I hope, if you've faced struggles and who hasn't, that it's your story. It's certainly my story. We can all come back from any adversity if we find the will to do it. And to then share the fact that you've done so is even more inspiring, at least the way I think about it. And, and I bet the way that you think about it. So that's why uh, Hunter Biden uh, is the pain to power person of the week. Uh, and uh, I hope that people will read the book. I haven't read it yet. It's not out yet. It's to be published in April. Uh, but that combined with Mr. Biden's new focus on creating art, because that's another thing he's doing, he has an art opening. It sounds like these are authentic signs of a person who may have found himself. And I always put self in capital letters, you know that, because I think it's the most important thing we can find in this world is one self connected to God. So, you know, when I see signs of that, in anybody, I applaud it, and I hope you will too. And most of all, I hope you'll be inspired by it wherever you see it, because ultimately, what we want to see is you becoming more you, Y-O-U in capital letters, just like self, because then you benefit, and that matters because your story matters, but we all benefit because we're all depending on the best from one another. If you're an artist who's been distracted, you got to do your art. If you're an entrepreneur who's been distracted uh, by being, uh, I don't know, an attorney, you got to do your entrepreneurial activity. You've got to do what's in your soul to do. If you're supposed to be a teacher and you're an entrepreneur, it ain't going to work, not in the long run, because it'll erode your soul. You want to express the gifts that are yours to express, and people have a purpose. What's yours? You figure it out, and then you go for it. Sometimes it's uncomfortable to start that journey. But always, if you stay true to it, the journey ends well. That's the pain to power path.